So we're back here again doing some Thurnaville Drain spoilers. This is day one, technically day two, but it's day two for me, but it's really day one, but it's confusing. Anyway, new spoilers that are brand new right now. Um, fairy Gut, let's go to white. We'll ju we're just going by Wooburg order. Um, new spoilers, we have Fairy Guide Mother. To our creature gets plus two plus one against flying. Eh, okay, it's sorcery, speed, pump spell. Giant Killer, it's it's a limited removal spell, but it says tap to our creature, and it's okay. Human Peasant. It's a 1-2 Human Peasant. Shining Armor. That's a uh, brand new, quote-unquote, but no. Those are our two new white cards. Blue has some fun. I think the only new blue card is Mystical Dial Dispute. This spell costs two less to cast if it targets a blue spell. Can not target a blue spell unless it's control by three? It's not that great, but it reminds me of a certain card from Theros block that did the same thing. It was against blue. It was back when mono blue devotion was a heavy thing, and it was mostly um. It was mostly used against it. Like, hey, I think that's hinting for Return to Theros. And sorry, I had to take a drink. I think that's for Return to Theros comes out. Uh, turn to a pumpkin, return to a non-land permanent to its owner's hand, draw a card, adamant, if at least three blue. So you create food tokens if you return if you have adamant online or adamped. Excuse me again. Black. The only new black card I remember seeing is Murderous Rider. So I gotta talk about this card real quick. This is probably the ideal black card for the whole format. This is probably the hidden rare that you're going to be seeing a lot of in standard from now on. Just straightforward. It's it's a 2-3 for lifelink, but it's it's instant speed removal. That destroy target creature, you lose two life. It doesn't matter, because if it dies, you're going to get it back. It keeps coming back. Let that sink in. It go, if you kill it, guess what? It goes back to the bottom of the Now, I know Exile Fax app exists, but this, this card here, be on the lookout for it, because this might be the best card in the whole set. Uh, Wicked Guardians, uh, limited removal, deals 2 damage to, to another creature you control. Kind of meh. I mean, draw card draw is fun, but it's kind of meh. Uh, Wish Call tells me it's pretty good commander, if, if you're being political. Which, hey, you never know. Red. Red's interesting. So we have Blow Your House Down. It's a fun flavor to a certain big bad wolf. Uh, Brimstone Trib... Tribute? Tribudget? Defender Reach deals 1 damage to each opponent. Whenever a knight enters you... Okay, it's it's a knight tribe mostly. It's like, oh, it deals 1 damage to target creature. Or target opponent. And if you have a knight. Uh, Burning Trail Yard Trainer. Enter battlefield to another short creature. A knight you control gets plus 2, plus 2, and haze. Good for limited. Not really good for constructed, but good for limited. It's plus 2, plus 2 is decent if you're playing either Boros or Rakdos Knights. But mostly Boros is going to run it. Embercleave, this is the most metal card art I've ever seen, but it looks really nice. Uh, Cost one less to cast for each attack creature you control. Whenever it's battlefield, attach it to target creature you control. Equipment is plus plus one and has double strike. That's not too bad. Green's interesting. So we got an interesting story with uh, Once Upon a Time, which is all about, which is um, a nod to Cinderella. It's a free modern spell, pretty much. Questing Beast, uh, this is a mediocre Ceratops. We're probably never going to get... Uh, it might get better once Ceratops like, rotates out. Maybe I would recommend it, but... I mean, the stats aren't bad, it's just... I just think Ceratops is better. Like, a 4-4 four, four, for 4 sounds great, but... It won't have reach. It's funny that Ceratops will be seeing a lot more play than this. Um, just kind of a waste of Mythic slot. Return to Nature, it's a reprint. It's a reprint from Throne of uh, War of the Spark. It's not a bad reprint, by the way. It's it's decent. Um, Wicked Wolf. It's the big bad wolf surrogate. It fights up to one target creature you don't control. Eh, limited. It's it's a decent limited rare. Not great. And excuse me, is this a... No, that might be a brawl card. Wildwood Tracker. Attacks or blocks. If you control another non-human creature, Wildwood gets 2 plus plus 1. Eh, not too bad. It's 1-1. One, one. You'll play it in limited. It's it's not bad. Unless you control a non-human creature. Again, it's not too bad. Uh, multicolor. Obviously, we have to have Garrick. Ooh, I 
actually there isn't really. Oh, yeah, um, we have a new elf called, uh, Carvel, Carvel Handy Arranger. It's an elf knight, I'm assuming. Uh, creatures control plus plus one, bring, or the adventure is, I think, an inst sorcery, it says. Create two one one white human creature tokens. Okay, so it's a two two. But when this, but then you may cast as normal. It says creatures equal to plus plus one until end of turn. So it's it's four power divided into two creatures. Eh, limited, limited at best. And this is what I don't like about using energy salvation. So we gotta check hybrid or not hybrid. But these are. But I want to bring this up here. The the Selesnya and Borosers are under limp under multicolor and they should be under hybrid. It's dumb. So, um really, really fun card so far from what we're seeing. We got giant oh, oh, forgot another one. Uh Witch's Vengeance. This card has some neat flavor. So this is obviously the, not the right art, but it's 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 the borderless version. Creatures of the creature type of your choice. This is neat for uh, modern Doom foretold's a pretty neat enchantment. Uh, Blow your house sounds a fun, fun flavor. Carvel handle, Carv, Carvel handy arrangers a cute little elf. Wicked wolf's pretty metal. If um, he's kind of just daft. He's a daft rare. Ember cleave's pretty cool for EDH. Questioning, questing base is meh. It's a meh card, but. Joust is a red fight card. It's pretty good. Joust Academy is good for limited if you're playing knights or you're playing... Or you need a 2-1. It's it's decent. That's the Ulfur Murderous Rider. Great card, I think. Just, just all around decent set. This is a good first day. Technically, it's day two, but it's day one for spoiler season. This is this was a decent set, I think. It's it's not great, but I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be a great set overall. Because we might... Maybe Tuesday might improve. We don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you all tomorrow on day three, quote unquote. It's day three, but it's it's day two. So I hope to see you all tomorrow. Peace out.